Welcome to day one of our 21 days of prayer and fasting. We're in a version reading plan and today's word is power. A great way to start off this fast. We all need the power of God. And one of our scriptures today is from the book of Ephesians. It's written by the Apostle Paul and it was a letter that he wrote to the church in Ephesus. Near the end of the letter in chapter 6, he wrote these words, a final word. In other words, Paul is saying, oh yeah, I got one more thing for you, okay? So pay close, of atten- close attention. This is really important. He says, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. You know, every time I go to the store, without fail, when I'm on an aisle, someone will spot me and they will look like they need some help because they can't quite reach what's on the top shelf. Every time I go to the store, they spot me and they're like, sir, excuse me, could you, could you help me to grab that? Uh, and and I'm, I'm happy to help. To be honest with you, it's kind of an advantage being as tall as I am because when everything is sold out, I can look up on the top shelf and I can see, oh, there's, there's a few more of those items and I can grab them, which frustrates everyone around me when I find it. Listen, in 2021, you've got hopes and you've got dreams and you've got aspirations, things you want to accomplish, and they may seem just out of reach. Am I really going to be able to accomplish this? And I want to tell you this, with God's help, with God's power, you can accomplish what he has set in your heart. God has hopes and dreams and aspirations and ways in which he wants to use you in ways that you could never imagine in 2021. But we need the power of God to accomplish that. It's always out of reach, but it's not out of reach when God is involved. And God can see what we cannot see. So what does God put in your heart? What is it you want to accomplish? Invite him to come alongside you. Ask for his power and watch what he does in your life in this year.